Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris, the Determined Exterminator series. I'm your host, College Fate. It's episode 16. It's the year 2404. This is what our empire looks like. Over here, making some progress. We've grabbed a big portion of the middle over here now too. Have a fallen empire over here that doesn't like us. There's also a fallen empire here that is a machine language that does like us. There's the Genogian Sovereignty, the Dojoma Ravengers have a fleet inside here being protected. We destroyed most of their space and took it here. So we're trying to get our little empire taken care of. Trying also to avoid falling into too big of a holes. We dropped off on the old money aspect of it. So I want to take a minute to kind of get my empire back under control. You can see all of our old worlds quickly building unemployed pops, all of our new worlds growing and <laughs> busy. So it's easy to see the old versus the new like that. Let's take and move a bunch of pops around Yo Mom. Let's uh, also do this. Yo mom. Yo mama. Okay, anybody that has pops like this. Here we can actually resettle a couple. So we'll just do a little bit of resettlement. Looking for places that have lots of jobs like this. Florp has a lot of jobs. So we can take a couple extra jobs there off of their hands. Florp. The Veil has a few extra jobs. So. We're going to do that. Move some pops around. Give those guys some options. Give them a chance to look. There's a bunch of job, bunch of places here with tons of jobs. So we're not only going to take the unemployed off of here. If we can, we don't want this to happen. So disabled. We don't want buildings to get disabled. So in this case, we still have two unemployed pops. And uh, what we're going to do is that to give them some jobs and that to give them some jobs so. on this world though it has 90 so we can afford to give plenty away plenty of our people away without without losing any building slots here another one of these planets to look at some of these planets they just have tons of jobs and this is why I'm kind of a fan of moving pops around. It's interesting, there was just decline. I to do that. There was a just a thread today about on one of the Facebook groups about this sort of thing. And uh get my brain wrapped around it here. And I think that moving your pops around like this and being Fine. All right, so let's take a look at this one. This is Polymer. This one. We're down to one unemployed pop. We're going to do that. And give him a job. Look at all these. Some of those worlds have a lot of... A lot of available jobs. A lot of tech drones, which means they're going to lose some. Yeah, I knew I was going to lose some energy credits because of those planets that were moving them to tech, moving tech drones away. And I'm not too concerned with that. They're going to pick those up. What we're trying to do here is is build for build for the immediate future here. Mining drone, for instance, I could pull a couple of those off instead. Trying to get rid of all this unemployment and send them somewhere where they can actually do something. So let's see. Let's take a look here. Like you guys, that's what I should be doing is moving the mining drone guys around. 
there's an unemployed person there, and then there's maintenance drones and mining drones. So if I do that, it's resettlement like this. Let's see, mining drones. That gives them room to grow without going into unemployment. And it gives my new planets extra people. Maintenance drone, replicator, okay. Those there. Because so many of these worlds just have lots and lots and lots of. Lots and lots and lots of people. Drones. I don't want to move too many of the tech drones around. Again, I really think if boy, if somebody really wants to to make everybody happy here, a, a mod that would deal with this would be fantastic. That would just make your populations automatically move to the planets that have jobs when they're unemployed on a on a current planet. But I understand also why they don't do this because here's a planet where. I have an opportunity to just upgrade and provide jobs for these people instead of resettling them. So it's almost like it needs to be a toggle on the planet that says, for now, just tell people we're not building anything new. And then later you could turn it off and you'd be alerted by this and you could go onto your planet and say, oh yeah. You know, like if there was a toggle on here somewhere on the screen and you say right now, or maybe it's a decision, you turn it on. Because right now the only decision you have is to cease drone protection. Well, another one would be like, and. I would like one that would ins a decision instead that would say, here's what I'd love. A decision that you click on this, go ahead, spend the influence, and it automatically sends any new unemployed pops to some other planet where there's an available job. And then you can turn the decision off and you would get this and you can upgrade the buildings. I think that would just be fantastic. If anybody wants to come up with that mod, I will champion it on my channel. I will. <laughs> you will be my hero, first of all. You'll be my hero, and I will make sure that you get all kinds of pub and love for that kind of thing. Here, these guys are doing alloy factories. Do they have? They got two bioreactors on there. So just so leave it. But I had all these other new worlds that just didn't have people, so decline. Okay, so which one is this? Vamex? Can't it, if I if I move one more person off of here, I lose 75 and I lose this last slot. So I'd rather give them a job. So in that case, we'll give them a job. The veil needs another job. This almost has enough people on here that what you could do is do all the generator districts too. You'd, you'd have to put some housing on here, but why not? Why don't we do this? We're going to make this a mining world for right now, but why don't we just do... I am so rarely do both on a planet, but the Vale is like this Gaia world. It's just perfectly set up for it, so... Um, it's perfectly set up to turn into a machine world, actually, so let's do this. Let's do that on that world, and then let's take a look at these other ones. We had uh, colonies. Colonies. I'm just making sure now that every single one of these has a designation. I mean, this is one of the. We're losing buildings and jobs on these planets because of uh, population. Because we're purging our enemies off of them. This is a great, great, great energy world. Um, I want to send some people there for sure. We'll get people there and we'll see what happens. All right, so right now that's what we have. We got these these buildings, these uh, not buildings, these space stations here. Anytime we have a, a bastion, this one is on a wormhole. So I'm gonna relabel some of this stuff. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. 
any of the bastions get an extra slot. This is just Anchorage. Black Hole. Did it, as long as they have resource saddles on them, that's what I care about. Construction so we go, complete. We're do this. We're gonna come down here and take a look at our uh, ships. He's got that. Okay, so we got cut off there, and we couldn't get down here, and we can't get this because we're cut off. complete. So the only way we're gonna get this now is to go System to war with these bosoms and the Ganogians have a defensive pact with the Great Larongo block. So we could just go to war with them for a little while. I don't really want to go to war with anybody for a long amount of time, but I don't have my ships in the right places, so since you were slacking, McCracken. Didn't get your job done. What do we have here? Mega structure. That one's being built. So you. What would I like to do? I'd like to be able to get ships from here over into this region faster. So I think, why don't you go over here? Gateway construction site and just build one right there. That'll give us access to all of this up here. There, there are two gateways up here. They have an L gate and a gateway, but I don't, I'm not sure that they're. Uh, they don't have them turned on. I guess they need to be rebuilt. I would also like to have another gateway somewhere up in this direction. Get access to all this stuff. So. This is a mega structure. It's the matter decompressor site, which is awesome. We're gonna put another one over here too. At some point in time, although I don't think he can build it, so we can only build two at a time. Oh, I know what I wanted to build. Lacking you. I wanted to do an experiment. Um, why don't you come back up to? Hold on. Let's find a good place to do this. Right here, Ophiel. Who has what? Molten World. It's got three stars in it. Two stars, I see. I thought it was a trinary system. What is this? Where can I... Okay. I'm just asking questions here, random, but I'm going to send this guy here. Um, I, had, I, don't, I haven't had a lot of experience building habitats. So I want to do that now. I want to build some habitats and learn about those a little better so I have some answers for people on various forums and things like that because I like actually knowing what I'm talking about before I start talking about things. I feel like that's a, a good way to go. And I just like to help people. Um, for me, that's what so much of this is about is just wanting to help people. This is, oh yeah, it goes through right there. You guys are needed there, aren't you? What's this? This is that. And I don't have a star base here around here to help feed this, do I? I don't. I have this. Okay, tell you what, we're gonna make this a shipyard. And he's gonna help feed and repair this group there. You guys are there, which is great. And you have that right there. You guys are there, and you can upgrade. You guys are right there, and why are you there? Because you're next to this fallen empire that we don't really care about. Oh, but we do care about that. Saradon. You guys need to be Saradon. Saradon Station. Okay, so while you're upgrading right there. What is this? This is a bastion. Oh, it was, it's a choke point into this, but this is actually what I'm more concerned with right now is that up there. So, 
we'll get you guys. Extremium. Okay, I got an idea. I'm just gonna no, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Why don't I do that? The Helix Fleet. Okay. The jail. Is that what is that? Am I pronouncing this right? B Jal. It's B Jal. It's two L's. It's not an I and an L. See my my eyesight is not the best, so. Um, Helix and Moment are both there. Oh, well here's what we're gonna do then. Is this site ready to go? Yes it is. And that hits you. No 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 no. I want you to do that. And I want you to do ship augmentations completed. This. Get yourself some more ships there. Let's see. This is moment. Ship augmentations. Moment completed. is set up for 202. So what do we have for Add a ship design to the fleet? Construction you know, complete. Giga, you don't have a Giga one, do you? There you go. Now you got a Giga. All right. Let's do that. Construction complete. Okay, let's do that. Let's get all these ships ready to go. This fleet up here complete. is what? Titans. These are the Titans. Okay. What are you building over here? You're building some destroyers and a cruiser. Okay. Here's what System I want. System survey for. complete. We'll build the rest of those in a minute. We're going to build another fleet right there. We'll get ready to go to war with these homeboys. We'll do it. Interceptor. L gate insights together. The L gate cluster is almost within our reach. So the L gate insights seven of seven. Let's take a look at this too. How much is this? One month. Let's research the prints. Enigmatic guess. Let's research that in a month. Special project. Enigmatic cash. Engineering research gains two fifty. The prints. The text. Its title roughly translates to regional ruler is written in a presumably ancient dialect of the Ganogian tongue spoken in the Ganogian sovereignty. The text is doubtless of some historical importance to them and might contain valuable insights. Their prose is pedestrian, their ideas weak. Hail them. Ooh, event, country event. Let us divine its secrets they need not know. Okay, let's start the country event. We understand that you have found the only, only surviving copy of the Prince, a text of significant historical and cultural importance to our people. We thought it irrevocably lost to a pirate raid years ago, but we are grateful to see that it found its way into civilized hands. Will you return it to us? You and your words will be destroyed. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, in fact, we think it's bad. No, the written word is a tool of liars. You and your words will be destroyed. You can't criticize our literature. You will regret this pitiful organics. The Ganogian Sovereignty adds the book burner opinion modifier towards the Cerex Cup. Oh my gosh. That is hilarious. Okay. Well, that's funny. <laughs> That's kind of cracking me up. Um, defensive platform hit points. Ooh, that's nice. It's very expensive also. Let's go for the cheap stuff for right now. Cheap seats. What are you doing? Are you doing something? Construction complete. This one. So this. This starbase. So do this. Construction complete. This one. So here's what I'm looking for. These are choke points. Construction what I'd like complete. to have is they've got naval logistics office, defensive grid, supercomputer. I want to have something like this. I like this minus shield. Difference. It's not always the most impressive thing, but this is not always the best choice if you're playing complete. against a faction that doesn't use shields. It's not as important. Okay, let's see what else we have. 
a request from the new Nurian Khanate. The new Nurian Khanate claims to have uncovered intel suggesting that we are building a secret launch platform for weapons of mass destruction on our ring world and request permission to inspect the site. Oh sure, accept the request. They're not gonna find them. We're not. We're building no such thing. Ring world request conclusion. After picking half the construction site apart, the weapons experts from the new Nurian Kenite finally had to concede that there is no secret weapons launch platform on our ring world. An effort we could have spared them if only they had trusted us. The new who are who are they? The new Nurian? It's not these guys, it's not a fallen empire. And it's not them, the prime continuum. New Nurian Kena. Oh, these guys were marauders. That's the thing. They were marauders. Um Speaking of that, system survey complete. Right here in Devil's Ball, let's do this. Successful. We're gonna build a bastion here. Construction complete. Ship augmentations completed. Okay, I got a bunch of stuff going on. I need to pause. I need that, and I need the shipyard right here. So let's do that. That way, I can get a fleet up there. Improve strike crash. That that didn't take long. Didn't think it would. Quantum missiles. Just get through some of that. So I don't have a fleet of any kind up there, do I? Oh, but I have you guys there, but you're waiting on the other side right here. Yeah, you're waiting on the back side of this to attack this way. So, I have two fleets over here. So here's what I'm gonna do. Helix, your job now is gonna need to move up there. Construction complete. Okay, let's see. This planet is just about done, and it has these three special things on it, and a bunch of power, and that. I think the only thing to do now is just put in another alloy factory. Once again, we're back to let's resettle some people. Uh, all these planets, they just have so many jobs. So many jobs. So we'll just do them kind of one at a time. Move them to a bunch of planets that have jobs. A jeweler. I really think that that's a really good idea, actually, to just have a decision that says automatically, if we will pay to send your people to where there are jobs. We'll do it. It's a cost of doing business. Let's see. This planet doesn't have enough amenities, even though it has maintenance depots. So what I'm going to do is... All of these are providing five jobs, and then this one's providing eight, and that one's providing, they've been upgraded. So this is going to get replaced by a maintenance depot to provide more amenities. Let's do that. This reset planets will do. That's why I'm not being too picky about where they're going to. Just as long as it's someplace that has a lot of jobs. This is kind of part of the process here. This planet in Polymer, this one. Okay, what do they have? They've got enough housing and enough amenities and they just need more jobs. And they have one sentinel post and one maintenance depot, and they've got the autochthon one with thing, and they've got the 15% for that. So let's just give them right there. Give them that. What are our special things looking like? We're at plus 16 for volatile modes and red crystals. Okay, so we're doing all right there. All right. Secondary resources. You guys are waiting to get to 75, so we're going to provide jobs. Instead, we're going to boost that one. We're also going to boost this. You guys are going to need more housing in this last slot, actually. That's probably what's going to have to happen. You're not going to get, like, 100 pops on that planet. 
This colony planet has food, and this a bioreactor, and now let's go for something like... Oh, let's see. Yep, the uplink node. And then that, and it loses colony status. When you get the capital upgraded, it's no longer a colony. This doesn't have anything being decided yet. Canberra. It just knows that it... We've been sending some people here. Let's go for... Alloy factories. You still have nine jobs, so it's not a big deal. You have 12 jobs, let's... We're fixing this. Let's go with that. Uh, we're gonna need two more. Yeah, change those to city districts. Mining, yay! Lots of my oh, see here was another deal. We wanted to make this mining, so mining districts. You guys are going to need some more housing in a little bit. So let's get you several cities set up for the future. We'll get you, you have maintenance depots and you have sentinel posts. Perfect. You already got some of that important stuff. What you don't have is a bioreactor. And this world doesn't have a, a Tokthon monument. They call it an uplink mode when you're a machine. This can be repaired to an Alan Mega Forge and same thing uplink mode. Spock. Lots of research on Spock. What is this? Uplink node, research labs. Let's see, can we repair that? What about this? Gas extraction wells. Uplink node. Let's repair all that stuff and see how that works out. And let's change this to city. These are all planets we took over, and that's why we're losing districts this way, and they're getting destroyed, is because we're currently purging the population. Now there's no more of those populations on here, so. Research Institute, uplink node. Oh, wait a minute. The Research Institute, don't do this. Just demolish it. We've got away. that stuff there, so. Uplink node, stronghold. Okay. And the Forge World. Don't do that. So replace those with food. Replaced with food, and let's take a look here. Mm, alloy factors. Alright. Back done with that stuff. This bastion, what is that doing? Oh, this is on this. Okay. To, it's a choke point to stop them from going over in this direction, which is kind of pointless because right there, the Ganogian sovereignty are in our lands. Oh no. Construction complete. their ship. It's gone. <laughs> How'd you like that, suckers? I need a ship up here in this area, though. I need a big, huge fleet up here. Ship I need these two completed. spots back, and I'm going to need to take that city. Going after the Ganogians is going to be complete. Thing, but I can tell you that right now. So, we might want to go get the new Nurian Canite. We might want to take care of these guys first because they do have this. Construction this complete. The Vengrolian. We might want to take care of this first and then we can worry about some of these other factions. Maybe that would be the way to do it. Let's see. Construction. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Yeah, I'll close my construction complete because they've got theirs close to me, so see any reason for them to
Experimental subspace navigation. Alright, let's go look at the Titan fleet up here. Construction complete. This is the Titan fleet, and we're just gonna call it the, uh, the Titan fleet. Because, you know, we're gonna get us a leader. Do we have a free one? We don't. Okay. This guy's good, though. Ship hull hit points. Where is he? Yeah, he's got some nice stuff, but he doesn't have anything that's too awesome. Let's just recruit somebody and see what we can get. Oh, they all got sets of range. Hmm. Oh, well, maybe ship up heap. Being cheap would be good with the old Titan fleet. So let's take a look at this. The Titan fleet's got some battleships. It's got a couple of Titans. Uh, what else do we need? These cruisers. Construction complete. Construction right, almost complete. Like just, almost the battleships. Construction okay. complete. And I'm going to add some of these. Construction complete. There we go, and fill that up, Buttercup. Construction complete. Okay, you are in this system, and I wanted to know if... Can you build a habitat? What can you build it around? A habitat. Theoretically self-sustaining space station designed for permanent habitation. Let's find out. I want to. I want to build more of those. I want to learn about those a little bit better. Kinetic artillery. Kinetic weapon damage. Let's see. These are cheap. Let's get the happy burners. Let's upgrade for them. Construction complete. That is the bastion. Construction complete. Construction There's complete. There's the starbase behind it. Construction complete. Construction complete. No docks. Construction complete. There's no docking. Construction complete. Activate the L gate. Oh, should we do that now? Twenty four oh seven is the year. Should we do that now before anything else happens? Probably. Let's go activate the L gate and then let's um, move everybody. There. System survey Where complete. Where is our L gate at? Construction this complete. Is, yeah. Okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Elgate can be a little bit of a pain in the Suzuki. So. Everybody move there. I just want to have all my fleets available. Titan fleet. They're still being built. Alright, that's going to be the next goal. We're going to activate that Elgate. We need some energy ready. Let's Construction complete. Construction complete. Here's the tiny generator work. Do I I haven't named any of these worlds, have I? Okay. Let's start going through that so we can make it a little more clear what's going on. This is a food world. It's going to do all this stuff. I really wish there was an easy way to see that designator on here without me having to do it. Like, this is great. This is an energy world. So if I want to go in here and create a bunch of jobs, I create a ton of jobs there on that, on that world. This is a food world. And the whole reason to do this is so that when you're in here moving people around, you can say resettle, and I can quickly look and get, look for the ones that have an E by them and say, oh yeah, there's, where's an E that has a bunch of jobs? There's going to be some here in a little bit. 
just don't have them yet, but they're gonna exist. So, right now we'll move you. I gotta get them labeled, that's why there probably are some. So let's do this. Camburin, this is my third. That's what happens when you take over everybody's stuff. Construction complete. This is an energy world, yes. So, they're doing Nexus District Alloy Foundries, great. This is an energy world, most definitely. Generator world. You can see in the outliner, oh, this is a mining world. You can see in the outliner this says, so this is going to be food world more than anything. It, it says it over here, but it doesn't help when you're resettling it. You're like, hmm. It says Tundra World, Savannah World. It tells you what type of of uh, atmosphere it has, but it doesn't tell you this. So this one needs to be a mining world. Just wondering why. Why well, that's not happening. You, you change this. Replace with the mining districts. This one is an energy planet. Hey now, I didn't want you to do that. That you barely touch that mouse, man, and it's gone. This one doesn't have much, but again, it's a generator run. It's ruined, so just demolish it. it says. Because you don't have enough people to repair. Because the population, which has now thoroughly been purged, so that's cool. Um, let's go. This is energy. Let's put a energy grid on it, and that's also why we've been losing so many is because all of those pops that we that we had that were that were working these jobs got purged. So that's part of the reason why things have been fluctuating so much. But we'll get ourselves in a stable state here after a few dozen years. And then it'll be good. This is food. This is energy. Benjul, what are you? Your energy. For sure, and you've been ruined. You don't have any pops left yet. You purged them all. So. We can fix the energy nexus there. And make this a generator world. This one probably should be mine. What has the most stuff? This is most definitely an energy world. This thing here can be repaired in a blink node. They're putting research on this planet, but I'm going to say no. This is colony, it's definitely mining good, and this is generator world. Just needs to be labeled as such. Same thing with this forgotten. This is food. Okay. There we go. Now they're all properly labeled. So now when we want to move people around, resettle and say, hey, find me. Yep, John. Energy. life so much easier so yeah I'd love to see a mod that would do that automatically for me that would be pretty fantastic fine okay so let's see you just need more jobs so let's give you more jobs the bell hmm. oh and this is gonna be it. both of them we're gonna do this Let's just do that. Alright, the rest of you guys. 115.
15 people in there. B -b 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 Designator makes it so much faster to see. I like it. I'm just going to give you guys some more jobs on these. Ones. Research buttons, yeah. Gate. Construction complete. So that's not going to take long for that to get ready, is it? Technological acquisition successful. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, what's the next cheapest thing? Flak, artillery, or impulse thrusters? Hmm. Flak, artillery. These planets that are the ones that aren't full, that aren't getting teetering over 90. I just want to build jobs for them. This one's over 90. I still want to give it some jobs. 79, just give it jobs. These worlds here, they just keep cranking people. Opening the L cluster. Successful. Our scientists are now confident that our knowledge of the L gates and the technology behind them is sufficient to abort their maintenance cycle. If the attempt is successful, the L gate and the Jebbins maelstrom system should allow immediate access to the distant L cluster. As the maintenance cycle ends, any additional elegates in the galaxy will likely also become operational. Yeah, great. We know this because uh, there's an elegate up here, so I'm activate the elegate. Great. I'm not opposed to uh, the elegate being activated over here, right there. Yeah, let those guys deal with that. We're gonna activate our elegate. So what do we have to do to activate our L gate? Construction complete. Input. So I need a science ship over there, I assume. Construction complete. I just did this a couple episodes ago and I already forgot how how to do it. So let's go down here. Let's see what this you need. Okay, well just examine this thing. And you Right up there. And where are my science ships? What are you doing? Assisting research. How far away are you? In the elegate. You're not that far, are you? Get up here. Construction complete. Construction complete. So activate the L gate is available. I just need a science ship present. All right. Well, my other fleets are already moving over there, so that's not a big deal. And the Titan fleet is almost done being built. It's, yep, it's building the last few ships, so that's fantastic. So that shipyard, get it. Construction complete. Construction complete. Right. Construction Titan complete. System survey complete. System resource settings. Gonna open up a can of worms and see what happens. Construction complete. Open up a can of worms and let's see what happens. Construction complete. All right. Let's see. 
Construction complete. SGM Construction complete. Let's do this. Hold up. Yeah, I can just do it this way, can I? Pick a world like this, Migrius. Construction complete. This is faster. Just keep picking them from here. The ones that have unemployment. That's way faster. Until this particular complete. planet gets full. This is a... Migrius. Migrius. E. Migrius. It's the only thing that's as hard to see. Oh, this Havana. This is a mighty one for sure. Construction complete. E. Migrius. Gateway construction set ready in that. Okay. In that system. Gateway construction site, great. Technological acquisition success. Build it up, buttercup. Black artillery. Give me the next cheapest thing. Planet oh, speed? Okay, we stop planet scholars. Let's see, so Megarius, this planet. Yeah, it needs the uh, maintenance. Ecos. And it needs the stability thing, because I've sent it a whole bunch of people, so. Take it. Oh, and where is that? And you also are going to need this, yeah. You can take these and replace them with. Let's see, districts when you get a chance. Okay. Let's pick the next world that we want to do. Where's another one that has energy jobs and lots of them? Right there. Construction complete. Polymer. Not floor. <laughs> Gotta have a negative red one there. Like that. Not like that. System survey complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Why is this getting... Why, why is it getting... Switching jobs there. Construction complete. Technological acquisition this successful. Is e. Kim Land. Burren. Let's see what we're doing. Sentinel Post, Uplink Node, Alloy Foundries. See, so moving those people around sets them on those jobs, which earns us some money, which is really nice. Are you done over here? You technically are done, and then we made two extra ships, didn't we? Alright, Mr. Titan Fleet, get over here. Unlocks the mega alt construction code unit loss. Society research unit Q5 has ceased function. That doesn't seem like a complete. good thing. We'll see who else we can find. Out. We have this guy. We have him. He's available. I like that. Construction complete. 
Rakur. Construction complete. Let's try another one of these. Jorgen. Jorgen Windcaller. This is a great way to do it. I was way slow before. I'm surprised nobody yelled at me on the YouTube video and said, Why do you keep clicking on the planet? Just scroll from the. Use the drop down on the left. This is way faster. Pick one of these planets that has a whole bunch of open jobs and then just do this. This is great. I'm excited about this. I will tell you what's really funny about doing these YouTube videos the part that cracks me up. Some of the comments people make as if I've never played the game before. I really don't understand the people who comment on videos like that. Like, I'm not a moron. I actually know what I'm doing. Kinda kills me. Some people just want to be helpful and that's fine, but some people are just like, what, what are you watching? Alright. I'll tell you, some days complete. it's enough to make me not want to, not want to do YouTube anymore. It's just like a breath. I'm gonna add this set in a post because I'm gonna try to put one of those on successful. every single planet at about the time that I figure they're gonna need him. It's a stronghold. Tech impulse thrusters. I like being able to clear out my unemployment that way. That's really nice. This is 59, so it's not, it's less than 90, so there's complete. no sense resettling any of these people. I might as well just keep building. In this case, give them a bunch more city jobs, and it provides them the machine equivalent of a clerk job. This planet, same kind of deal. We're going to split this. Yeah, we said that. The veil. We're going to split this. do anything with those yet. I keep waiting. How badly do these guys need jobs? See, any of these planets that have, they got building slots, but they've got 12 available jobs. I would rather they just fill those jobs out first. Well, field B habitat complete. Okay, cool. Let's go there. Construction complete. Where is Ophiel? Ophiel. No, not that one. <laughs> this one. Okay, let's take a look at this habitat thing. Oh, field B1 habitat. Alright, so what do we have? I want to colonize this, obviously. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll just leave. That's a fine name. We're going to... Planetary features shouldn't be any. It's going to have reactor district, which is going to provide three housing. And it's got a habitation distributor, which provides eight housing. We're going to find out what those things do. I wonder if it makes a difference, so what kind of planet you build them over. Construction We're complete. We're going to find out. What is this, this planet right there? Systems are complete. Here. So can I build one on this? Build main structure? I can build a habitat there. Okay. I'm just going to build a bunch of habitats there and uh, learn some things. Okay, so all these planets that have space on them to build are docks. Construction complete. We got a tradition. Which one do we want? Pop assembly speed, increase starbase upkeep, or administrate? We'll take administrative capacity. It's gonna make the smallest of dents. In what we're doing, and that's totally okay. And what I'm gonna do is go up here. There's this. This place needs more housing. So it's saying, hey, hey, us. Okay, right, yeah. You can also provide more housing for providing those jobs. But what I want to do is go in and look at some of these. Let's 
so they still have a whole bunch of jobs to fill in that case early in the planet's life there they get a ton of free jobs so I'm gonna put bioreactors on these planets that have lots of free jobs left and I still have tons and tons and tons of uh, food that needs to be converted so we're gonna do this an alloy factory forge world oh jeez they did this thing in that case uh, give me the food processing facility and a bioforge reactor that planet has a lot of mining jobs and you're okay, so we're building a bunch of bioreactors here on these worlds This place is going to need housing because I want to take the rest of this and just make it mining districts. Compressor anchor to extract matter from Vazi Maelstrom. We first need to secure a base to build the facility on. The anchor has been built. So, Va. So, what do we need to do now with this thing? Matter lens. That's what I want to do. Look at all these people I just got. That's awesome. Alright. Where's the ele we got a science ship here. Do it. Construction complete. Construction complete. Well, that requires activation or gathering outside. We do not have the means to enter the cluster. No known destination. Science ship present. Search. Construction complete. Construction complete. Construction complete. Delegate. Well, what the heck? Research automatic exploration fleet stands research anomaly. System survey complete. So why can't I? Technological acquisition successful. There's the L gate. Complete. And this oh and that's an L gate, but it's a different one. Situation log adjusted. Okay, so move up here. Research the project in that system. Everybody else move well on second time. Everybody else move up there. Some of you stay behind for here. This is an L gate. System contains an elegate. This system contains an elegate. Okay. Alright. Gotta enter from a very specific point. Well then, 
that's what we're going to do. This episode has come out to this point in time. I want to start with that on the next episode. So that's what we're going to do. Folks, thanks for watching as always. If you guys dig the content, give me a subscription. If you like the episode, give it a thumbs up. And if you have a question or comment, drop it down below. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.